Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today is the first episode of Tutorial Tuesday in like 7 or 8 months, and I am so excited to be bringing the series back. I have a ton of episodes planned, and I just can't wait to film them and release them. So as part of my ongoing efforts to revitalize my channel and bring it back, I have decided to restart the series because what better way to celebrate me returning to YouTube than to give back to you, my subscribers and my viewers. Before I stopped doing the series, it seemed like a lot of you really enjoyed these videos and they were really helpful to you and that makes me really happy that I was able to help people learn how to do something or that you trusted my reviews. Um, so I decided that I would bring it back finally. But without any further ado, let's roll that intro. Today we are talking about Sawyer Hartman's new Lightroom presets, the Leica Lux preset pack. I purchased these presets on the day that they were released and I've been enjoying them so far. I've only messed around with them a little um, because I don't really use presets. I do my own editing and I really do try to find my own editing style. But I decided that I would buy Sawyer Hartman's new presets in an effort to learn more about editing and maybe see where I can improve. So this video will have two parts. First, it will be a tutorial on how to use the presets, and then it will be followed by an honest review of how I feel about them. These presets are made for Lightroom and they cost $40. I will post a link to Sawyer Hartman's YouTube, Instagram, and where to purchase the presets in the description down below in case you are interested after watching this video. All right, let's hop onto the PC back here get onto Lightroom and I will show you how to import the presets, how to use them, and give my honest feedback. Let's do this. I'm now on my Windows 10 PC and I have Adobe Lightroom Classic open already with a few random photos of mine imported. To import Sawyer's Leica Looks presets, just click on this plus icon here, navigate to Import Presets, and locate the folder on your computer. It probably downloaded as a zip file, so you'll probably need to extract it before importing. The presets will appear in this presets panel. As you can see, I already have them imported. To use any Lightroom preset, you can hover over each one to see what it will do, and you can click on it to use it. And to undo any preset on Lightroom, just hit Ctrl Z on your keyboard. Keep in mind that with any preset, you may want to do additional edits and adjustments. Now I will go through the presets with some of my photos and share my thoughts. So this begins the review portion of my video where we're just going to mess around with some photos, see how it looks, I'll talk about my thoughts, maybe do some additional edits. So this is a photo I took back when I first got my camera. December 2016, up at Mount Rainier National Park, my brother Brandon just had a light bulb in his pocket, so we stuck it in the snow and it looked kind of cool. Um, so if you hover over here, you can take a look at how the presets interact with the photo. I'm really liking the way Golden Boy looks. I've used all these presets already on some photos, and Golden Boy is my favorite by far. I think with a lot of my winter landscapes, it is just perfect. As you can see, the Kodak 400, along with many of the other presets in this pack, really give a film look which is pretty cool, I have to say. This looks very nice. So I'll just finish scrolling through some of these so you can see what each of them do to this photo. So I'm really liking Golden Boy, so we'll select Golden Boy. The preset is now applied to my photo. Now, personally, I would like to see a little more of this, so I'm just gonna come over here and dehaze it a little because I want it to stand out just a little more. Another thing that I like to do with my photos is I like for the blues to be a little different, like that. And with all my photos, I enable profile corrections. On your keyboard, if you are new to Lightroom, you can hit the slash button 
and see a before and after. So as you can see, the preset with just a few small adjustments really make a difference with this photo. It kind of takes the purples that my photo has in it, which shouldn't actually be there in the winter landscape, and it really just makes it feel colder with those blues. Now we'll move on to a portrait. This is from that same day back in 2016. I took this photo of my brother Brandon, and we're going to test out some of the presets to show you what it does to portraits. So flat film flattens the image, gives it that film look, which is pretty nice here. Golden Boy is pretty dramatic. I really like the way that that looks with a few adjustments to maybe bring up the warmth on his face. That's really cool. <laughs> that has a very wintry look. I like that a lot. That brightens up the face perfectly. Also a really nice film look. This might be my favorite so far on this particular photo. You can't go wrong with punchy black and white. I've been using I've been using these since they were released, like I said, and the punchy black and white really is awesome. <laughs> I don't do a lot of black and white photography. I used to with the school newspaper when it had to be black and white to be printed, but I just from these presets, I am considering uploading more black and white photos. And then the traveler really brings out these oranges, these warm tones on his face, which is really nice, but it kind of clashes a little too much with the winter landscape, in my opinion and kind of the feed that I would go for in the winter, but very nice look. So I would say that this is actually probably my favorite. I'm gonna go ahead and I applied this preset. And you know, you might wanna adjust like your white balance, warm up his face a little bit, but it's really a nice look. I don't know, I've got a little something up here in the corner. So. If I just enable profile corrections there, that'll go away. And you know, you might want to come over here with the brush. You know, and just kind of warm the face a little and brighten it. But that looks awesome. Here's the before and after. Very minor adjustments with the preset it's like a completely different photo <laughs> so this is a shot of Snoqualmie Falls in Washington State from last year you may recognize it from Twin Peaks so once again it's over here with the presets just kinda go through that's nice I love the way that manipulates all of the greens and turns them to oranges it's a very summery look or a very fall look depending on what you're going for and how it brightens the water that is a very nice look so this is a shot of Seattle from Gasworks Park with one of the seaplanes taking off from Lake Union this was taken back in August so just seeing how these affect the Seattle skyline oh Golden Boy looks nice I like what it did to all the buildings I also really like this monochrome of the city. I don't know, something about city shots and these cityscapes in black and white, you know, just because that's how all the old photos are of cities. I am really into that. Love this. Love the way that looks with this photo. It looks amazing. But I also really love the way Golden Boy looks. I'm just going to go ahead and apply that. Honestly, you don't have to do anything else here. I would maybe bring out the oranges even more. But right there, you can post that. It looks great. This is a photo of Utah's Logan Canyon from just a few weeks ago with some snow. And I have already edited this photo with Golden Boy and some adjustments on top of this to bring down the brightness. You know, especially once you bring down some of that brightness. There's something really cool about the way 
it affects these photos. Once again, it gets rid of those purples that my camera kind of has naturally. It just replaces it with a lot colder colors. These whites and these blues. That just work great. And it makes the oranges pop. I love Golden Boy for winter landscapes. It's definitely a style that I think I will borrow and use in my own editing when I'm doing winter landscapes. Another thing that I found messing around with these presets that I really like, once again, Golden Boy wasn't really designed for this, but when you have these night shots, you've had these light trails of downtown Ogden, Utah, I loved the way Golden Boy looked on it. It gives it this really gritty feel, you know, this really is dark urban vibe. I really like it. So these presets can be used for all sorts of different photos. Overall, I am very impressed with these presets. With all of them, you're going to need to do some minor adjustments. That's to be given with any preset you use. But I think for anyone looking for a place to start with uh, photo editing, if you have the Adobe Suite and you're not really sure how to edit, you're not really sure what styles to go for, you don't have a lot of practice with it, I would recommend using Sawyer's Leica Lux presets because they really look wonderful on your photos. And you can see what they do over here. You can learn how it works, how it affects your photos, and become a better editor that way. That's really how I've learned with my photos um, over the years, is by using presets, I learned how to develop my own editing style. Maybe it's not the best editing style yet, but I'm constantly improving and getting better. And I love looking back and seeing how far I've come. Overall, I enjoy using Sawyer Hartman's new presets. I think they have a very nice look to them. More importantly, as I mentioned before, I don't use presets. I edit myself. I'm trying to find my own style with photography. But purchasing presets and seeing how they work help me learn how to edit better because I can see how they're manipulating my photos and if there's certain things that I like and certain things that I don't like, I can change them and I can adapt those techniques into my own editing going forward. So I think these presets are an amazing teaching tool and that's how I use them and I love doing that and adapting styles into my own editing. But for anyone who just wants a quick edit on the go, these are definitely great presets to use. So that's my review of Sawyer Hartman's Lightroom presets and a quick tutorial on how to use them. I hope you enjoyed watching today's video been my first video in a while where I've actually sat down in front of the camera so it felt kind of weird getting back into it but I'm promising weekly videos from here on out for as long as I can manage. Thank you for watching. If you are not already subscribed to my channel be sure to subscribe down below and turn on the bell icon so that you're notified the next time that I upload a video. And if this video helped you at all be sure to give it a like and share it. I'm Chase Saraba and I'll see you next time.